Welcome back. House Speaker Mike Johnson sending a letter to President Biden yesterday demanding that the president use his executive authority and crack down on the border crisis. He writes this, all of this is a direct result of your administration's policies. You have clearly undermined America's sovereignty and security. Costumes and border protection sources, meanwhile, telling Fox News migrant encounters at the southern border are already above 200,000 for the month of December, and we've got more than a week left in the month. The White House says it will send Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to Mexico in the coming days to meet with Mexican President Obrador. Joining me right now is Florida Congressman, House Homeland Security Committee member and House Select Committee on China member Carlos Jimenez. Congressman, thanks very much for being here this morning. We so appreciate your time. Uh, what do you think uh, the administration officials can do to change any of this with that meeting in Mexico? Uh, they don't need to go to Mexico. All they need to do is change their policies. You know, nothing changed from the only thing that changed from uh, December 19th, 2021 to December 21st, 2021 was Joe Biden uh, replace uh, Donald Trump as the president of the United States. And Donald Trump's uh, policies on the border were working. We had you know, record low crossings. And then two days later, Joe Biden uh, undo, do, undoes all of these executive orders of President Trump. And then we start the, uh, the surge and this, uh, this unprecedented uh, immigration crisis that we're seeing in the United States. Uh, it's all due uh, to Joe Biden and his failed policies. So are we anywhere closer to any change? I mean, you know, KJP keeps blaming you and your colleagues. Well, you left. You <laughs> left town. If you were really interested in doing anything, then why aren't you in town, she said yesterday. We know that the $110 billion package for Ukraine and Israel is basically wrapped around uh, these talks. Has there been any movement? Uh, I'm not sure. I think, you know, I've heard that some, uh, some senators are talking and that there may be some movement, even some... Democrat senators, governors, mayors are now demanding some action at the southern border because it's really uh, affecting their states and their cities in a very negative way. Uh, and it could be affecting their future election uh, results. And so what do I expect from New Yorkers and, uh, and Blinken going down to Mexico? Nothing, uh, yeah. because uh, they, uh, they have proven to be totally incompetent in, uh, in both of their jobs. And so you know, we got a couple of incompetent individuals going down to see the, the president of Mexico, hoping that he's going to help us, when, in fact, it's all in the president's hands. Just change the policy. You know, Customs and Border Protection have told you from day one what you needed to do. You have chosen to ignore them. And I've yeah. said for a long time, this is on purpose. This is not because they're incompetent. They want this to happen. You can't be this dumb. We know what we need to do. They just refuse to do it. Why? Why do you think they want an open border? That's a great question. Yeah. That's a great question. I haven't figured that one out yet, okay? Right. But they do, obviously, because, because they changed the, the, the policies from day right. one. And it wasn't working, obviously. We've had this flood of immigrants. Millions of immigrants have come through. And yeah. yet, no, nope, we're going to continue to do what we're going to do. Oh, and by the way, we need more money. You know what? But the money is not to control the border. The money is so that they can process more migrants faster. All right, which means that they come, they want to keep this uh, border open right. for some purpose. What that purpose is, Maria, I don't I don't have the answer, but believe me, it's on purpose. Well, this is done right. on purpose. You cannot be this dumb. Corinne Jean Pierre did say she she needs more funding. That's what she said. More funding, as if it's funding and not policy changes. A Colombian woman who illegally crossed the border and was released into the United States. Uh, into the United States, rather, it was given a check-in with ICE with a New York City court date for 2031, okay? So she gets processed. She gets a court date for 2031. Uh, Fox Business's Hillary Vaughn grilled the administration on this yesterday. What is the, What are they doing in the, in the country all these years? Watch this. Some illegal border crossers are being given court dates in 2031. What are they supposed to do here for seven years? Again, that's a better question put to uh, DHS. I'm not in a position to, to talk about specific cases like that. But if someone's specific... lived here for seven years and presumably gotten a work permit and worked here, if their asylum claim is denied, are they really going to be deported, or is that just a problem for the next president? Again, I'm not going to get into hypotheticals about specific cases. He does believe we need, and he has worked, to increase legal pathways to citizenship, but obviously illegal pathways, you know, they, you need to be held account if you're trying to come into the country illegally. Uh, he's not going to take that on, but Congressman, do you have any idea <laughs> what they do in that eight-year period? If they're not given court dates, 
until 2031, and they're told, okay, you're in America, we'll see you in, a, we'll see you in eight years. Yeah, they're given they're given the permission to work because uh, they they do have some kind of a legal status because they're waiting for their asylum hearing. By the way, eight years is a is a short time because I know that there's people that actually got more like ten years, uh, and so yeah, this is all part of the plan uh, to flood America with illegal immigra uh, immigration wow. and immigrants. And uh, this is this is done on purpose. Look, the law says that if you're at, seeking asylum, two things are supposed to happen to you. One. You stay in, in a third country until your court date, or if you're in the United States, you're detained. None of that is happening. That's why you have this flood of migrants, because they know that their chances of getting into the United States, finding work in the United States, and ultimately staying in the United States increased dramatically under the Biden administration. And, and, and this is just part of the plan. Uh, their plan. And so, again, what they wanted was additional funding. The funding was just to process more, more people. It wasn't to stem the flow of migrants. That's never been Joe Biden's plan. And again, the reasons why, I don't know. It's, uh, it's hurting America. It's putting America at risk. And, uh, but they continue to do, you know, what they want to do. And unfortunately, in Congress, we really can't uh, force them to change the executive orders like they had under Trump that really yeah. stopped this flow and kept America safe.